Hello everyone, welcome to Chefing It Up with Carolyn. And today I have an exciting menu that I'm gonna do with you today, and I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna be doing salmon, we're gonna be doing asparagus, and we're also gonna be doing a baked potato. Come and join us. All right, now we're gonna start off with our salmon. We're gonna take it over here to the sink because I like to wash my, uh, my meat and anything that I like to, any meat that I do, I like to wash it. So we're gonna take it over here to the sink and we're gonna wash our uh, fish and then we'll get started. Make sure that you use cold water because we know that the hot water will cook it and we don't want to do that and we don't want to change the quickly change the temperature of the meat. So we're rinsing it off. There we go. We're going to get our pan. I'm going to place the fish in, our, in the pan. And it could be any size pan that would, as long as whatever the size of your salmon, that's the size that you want to use for your, to give your uh, salmon room to cook. Okay, so now we're going to start, uh, start off with our ingredients. Okay, so now we're gonna start seasoning up our salmon. I like to cut into the salmon to make sure that the seasoning is getting inside the salmon. I don't like to just put it on top. So we wanna kinda part it a little bit. Yes, we wanna make sure that it's nice and parted. So now I'm gonna get my garlic powder And we're gonna sprinkle that on there. Make sure you get inside the, the splits. All right, now we're gonna take the pepper. Sprinkle, make sure you get it inside the splits. Well, I'm not really a fan of salt, so I have a, this is a special ingredients that I put in here. It's, it has enough sodium in it, so that way I don't have to use salt. And we're gonna sprinkle that on there, get it inside the splits. And then now it's another special recipe here. <laughs> another ingredient. All right, about this, I'll let you know what it is. It's a seasoning specially for fish. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit. You don't want it, cause this one, it'll dominate the taste. So we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit. And you'll be able to get the recipe if you enjoy it. If you enjoy what I'm making here, you'll be able to get the recipe. And we also wanna put some Italian seasoning on it. There you go. What I like to do, I like to put butter in the creases, in the splits, creases, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Let's see, let's just use this. Put it inside. I'm gonna take another scoop here. Try not to touch anything else. Cause we're gonna be using this butter again. And you put it inside the splits, creases, whatever you wanna call it. 
right. All right, so now we're gonna take this over to the, to the oven. But actually, we're gonna put a little water in here just to give it a little steam. Nothing, we don't wanna drown it. So we're gonna put the water in the bottom of the pan just to give it a little steam. Keep it from drying out. There you go. And now we're gonna put this over into the oven. All right, so we're gonna put this in here. We have the oven set to 350 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna close it up and we're gonna let it do its thing. All right, so now that we have our salmon in the oven, let's start on the potato. And before you, wa before you cook your potato, you wanna always wash it, you know, it's dirty, so you wanna make sure that it stays clean. We don't wanna get anyone sick. <laughs> so we're gonna come over here. I like to wash mine in like lukewarm water so I know for sure that all the dirt is coming off. And you, did you know that you can actually eat the skin of the potato? If as long as it's clean, it's good, clean very good. You can actually eat the skin of the potato and it has vitamins that are helpful in the skin. So if you desire, if you're one that likes to eat the skin of the potato, um, then by all means, this will be great for you. All right, so normally I put it in the oven, but because I wanna kinda of save time, I'm gonna put this in the microwave. All right, so we're gonna put this up here. All right, so now we have our salmon in the oven. We have our potato in the microwave. Let's get started on the asparagus. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm a fan of washing, so we're gonna wash our asparagus and we're gonna wash some tomatoes. We're gonna saute some our asparagus and we're gonna saute our uh, tomatoes. And they're plum tomatoes. Actually, no, not plums. They're grape tomatoes. All right, so let's go over here and let's get to washing. water off. We're going to lay it right here on our cutting board. We're going to come over here and take some of these great tomatoes. You don't have to have too many. Just enough to kind of blend in with the asparagus. And we're going to wash them off. You know what? I'm going to take two more. Shake the extra water off. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut up our tomatoes. Put this over here. And you can cut them in half, whatever how you like them. Uh, I prefer to cut them in half. See, when you cut them in half, that's why I don't really take too much because when you cut them in half, you actually see it looks like you're getting more. Okay, so we'll cut. All right, place some uh, 
place this over here. Kind of scoot this towards the end. And now we have our asparagus. And I don't like to cook the whole asparagus. I like to do almost like from almost near the tip, but not too much. There you go. I'm gonna place this over here. And then we're gonna cut some more. Asparagus is my favorite. All right. So now we're gonna walk this over. Actually, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna put some oil in the pan so we can saute <laughs> our vegetables. Okay, so we're over here. Getting the fire going. Potato is cooking. Hear it. All right. Not too much oil. If you're not sure, I like to do. I don't normally measure, but if you, if you're not too sure of how much oil, you can put at least two or three tablespoons, and that that that's enough to saute. So we're going to take out vegetables. Let's place this knife over here. But actually, you know what? I'm going to take the knife with me. Place this knife here. We want to make sure that it's hot. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We don't want the vegetables to sit too long in the oil. We're going to take our tomatoes and we're going to place that in there as well. All right, so we have our salmon cooking, the, to the potato is done, and we also have our vegetables going. Let's take out the potato. And we're gonna place it here on the plate. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna also go back to our vegetables and we're gonna put our ingredients in for that. Follow me. All right, so we're grabbing our minced garlic, our pepper, and we also want to grab a little of my secret <laughs> ingredient. So we're going to take all this over to the stove. Along with my fork, I have to go back and get my fork. All right, so the fork here. We're going to throw these in the garbage, so we're just going to leave those right there. All right, so now they're sauteing, and we want to put a little bit of minced garlic in there. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of my secret ingredients here. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. All right, we're going to set 
stir this up. You don't want to overcook the tomatoes because then they'll shrivel up. You don't want to shrivel up. You just want to give it a little coating. Same thing with the asparagus. We, I, I like mine. I prefer mine to be a little crunchy. Some people like it really extra soft. But I think that takes away from the taste. So we're going to keep it crunchy. So you'll do this for about a minute or two, and then we'll take it out. The garlic brings so much flavor out. It, brings, it makes the, the vegetables taste, uh, have an extraordinary taste. I love garlic. All right, so I think that's good enough. We're going to take it out. Let's move this back. Place it here on the plate. Trying to get away from me. If you can only smell this, it smells so good. And then we're going to put some of the tomatoes here on top. Turn this off. All right. All right, so our asparagus is done, our potato is done. We're going to check up on our salmon. And there you go. All right, so we finished our asparagus and our tomatoes. We finished our our potatoes and as I said we're going to check up on our salmon uh, let's I have to put this mid on don't want to burn my hand so we're gonna open it up and remember I said that we had to put water in here because it dries out so quickly and we're gonna fix that we're not gonna keep, it's not dry, but we're gonna make sure that it's, it stays moist. All right. 